Good morning, this is Thomas Wirek with JustSellingHomes.ca. Today we're going to discuss year-to-date numbers for different areas. For Barhaven, Kanata, Orleans and Ottawa as a whole, looking at 2016, 2017, 2018, 29, end of 2019. For condo and freehold. This information is good for investors to see how your uh, investment progress as well as people who live in those neighborhoods to see how the market performed over the four years. Uh, you can also find um, uh, homes coming up uh, uh, to the market at uh, justsellinghomes.ca. Uh, the website is updated uh, daily so you're gonna get new and active listings uh, from now and the future. Okay, but be before we get into this, just quick uh, recap of December. In December in Ottawa we had um, a lot of sales and we had a lot of multiple offers. We actually had record-breaking uh, selling month. Okay, In January it looks like uh, this year it's going to be uh, the same. There's going to be multiple offers, low in inventory of homes. Because right now in January it's really low inventory of homes. There are multiple offers pretty much everywhere. Okay. Let's get into the data so you can understand uh, how much on average uh, did, uh, did your home gain since 2016 to 2019. First we're going to look at the uh, Barhaven. So for Barhaven condos in uh, 2016 you could buy a condo for 218022 and in 2017 you could sell that condo for 223,169, which is an increase of 2.4%. Now look at the jump uh, between 2017 to 2018. It was by 5.9%. So from 223 to 236,000. And then look at the huge jump between 2018 to 2019. It was 13.3%. So we went from 236,000 to 267,000. Okay, so for condo, you can see when you add up the percentages between 2016 and end of 2019, we had an increase of 21.6%. 21 21 Later on, I'm going to do final analysis and, uh, and share with you actually which, uh, which areas are best for condos and freeholds. Okay, so another statistic is Barhaven freehold. This would be residential homes, your normal two-story home, bungalow. Uh, all, uh, all categories together. Okay, so you in 2016 you can you could buy a freehold for 382.021, and in 2017 it jumped to 402.680, which is an increase of 5.4 percent. Between 2017 and 2018, the increase was 7.7 percent, from 402 to 433,000. And then in 2018 to 2019, the increase was 10.4% from 433,000 to 479. So we were just shy of 480 in Barhaven for 2019. Now look at the situation in Kanata. For Kanata condos, in 2016 you could buy a condo for 220 and in 2017 219. So actually in Kanata, it dropped by half a percent. Then you had huge increase in condo uh, averages by 12.2 percent between the year 2017 and 2018. In 2018 you could buy it for 247.190 on average. And then we had a huge jump of 14.4 percent between 2018 and 2019. So in Kanata the condo averages were 247 in 2018 and they jumped to 282 in end of 2019. That's the situation uh, for Kanata uh, condominiums. Now for Kanata freeholds, in 2016 you could buy something for around 400,000. Then you had a jump of 2.7% uh, and you could buy something in 2017 for 413,000. Then you had a bigger jump of 8% between 2017 and 2018. And you could buy something uh, 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 for 447,000. And then you had another huge jump of 10.9%. So for, uh, in 2018, you could buy 
a freehold in Kanata for 447,000 and it jumped uh, to the end of 2019 so taking 2019 as a whole 496,000 so just Kanata reached uh, a $500,000 mark uh, for freeholds and some months actually it surpassed by a few thousand dollars above $500,000 okay look at the situation of uh, condominiums in uh, in Orleans. In 2016 you can buy a condo for uh, 210 and it jumped 10.3% uh, in 2017 you could buy it for 232 and then it jumped only by half percent in 2018 to 233 and then you had a huge jump of 9.8% between 233 and 256 so in, in 2019 the average is around 260 for Orleans condos. Now for Orleans freeholds you, you could buy a freehold in 2016 for 387 and it jumped by 6.8% to 4015 4, basically in 2017. Then we had another increase of 4.8% to 434 351 in 2018 and then we had another increase in 2019 by 8.7% and then you, in Orleans, you could buy a freehold uh, home for, uh, for around $472,000. Now, look at the totals of number of uh, solds for the whole Arawa. Now, this is taking into account things like Stittsville, Campville, uh, Cars, Greeley, all the suburbs and cen center of Arawa. Okay, so for condos in 2016, you could buy something on average for 261,000 and it jumped by 3.4% to 269,000 in 2017. Then it jumped by 3.2% from 269 to 278. And then it, we had a huge increase by 9.3%. So in 2019, on average, you could buy a condo for three or 4,000. So now the condos in Ottawa are hovering around the $300,000 mark. Okay, and it depends where, where it's going to be. In, for example, in Barhaven, it's going to be you know, around uh, 260 to 300,000. In uh, central Ottawa, in, in downtown, it's going to be 300 and up. Okay, so on average, you're getting three or five. Now, from three holes in, in Ottawa, uh, in 2016, you could buy something for 397, so, so just around 400,000, which is similar to actually Canada number. Then you had on average an increase of 6.8% to 424,000. Then in 2018 you had an increase of 5.1% and you could buy on average some, a freehold in Ottawa for 446,000. And then we had a huge increase of 8.9% uh, in, uh, uh, from 2018 to 2019. So in 2018 you could buy for 446 and 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 now for 486. Okay? So again, close to $500,000 mark. Now, what does this mean? When you add up those percentages, you can see basically which areas are doing great in condos, which areas are doing doing great in, in freeholds and actual percentages. So if you bought, bought something in 2016, you can see that on average you are around 22%. So when you bought something in 2016, uh, you can add 22% to your home and you should on average get something like this in 2020, okay? But where, where is it the best to invest right now, okay? So for Barhaven, what, what, what is actually surprising is that Barhaven is the best area to increase with 23.5% over the four years in the freehold, in residential. But Kanata is the best to invest. Uh, average, average of the four years, or the addition of the four years is 26.1% in Kanata condos. So you can, you, it's good to buy a freehold uh, in Barhaven right now and condos in Kanata. Obviously, this all is gonna depend on, uh, on your family needs, on the schooling uh, of your kids, where you want to live, uh, you know, some people would not consider living in Barhaven when they lived all their life in, in Kanata or, or vice versa, right? So uh, bear in mind that uh, this, this uh, neighborhoods, uh, Barhaven, Kanata, Orleans, I can break every single neighborhood 
wherever the neighborhood you live in, I can break and show you the, uh, the price increases, number of salts. I can do this for that neighborhood and then for, for your particular street. So if you need any more information, please do uh, give me a call, Le leave a message uh, in the comment section of this YouTube video uh, or simply give me a call. Uh, all the contact information is in the description. Uh, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Uh, you can find information at justsellinghomes.ca.